What's up YouTube, my name is John Bromit of Crusoe Design Co. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your messy canvas that looks a little like this. Well, it's gonna look like this, and with just a click of a button, it's really easy to set up. I'm actually a Skillshare top teacher. I've taught tons of classes on Adobe Illustrator, and until recently, I'm embarrassed to admit, I had no idea how easy it is to do this. It doesn't involve masking, it doesn't involve layers and turning things on and off. It's just a super easy click. So before we get any further, just please hit that subscribe, make sure that you like the video, comment, turn on the bell, whatever it is people on the YouTube do. And if you do that, I will keep making videos. So let's get into it. Okay, so to best show off this feature, I have made a very messy document. Normally I keep my stuff pretty clean, either with layers or masks or things of that nature. But sometimes your artwork will end up looking like this and you'll see tons of guides. You've got your bleed marks and your margins and all these things off the side of your artboard and it can be distracting and sometimes it can affect your design because you need to mask things out because you want to be able to just focus on your design. Well, here's a quick tip that I did not know until recently and I think that's because from what I looked up, Adobe didn't add this until 2019 and it, it just flew under my radar. So all you have to do is go over to view and hit trim view and just like that, all of that stuff is still there, it's still selectable, but it is hidden. So now you can just get in here and work and not have all of those distractions. Of course, you can turn it off by going to view and turning trim view off. But for me, that's not quite good enough because I use quick keys all the time. It's just way faster, way more convenient. But if we click view and we go down, you will see there is no shortcut right here. So let me show you how to set up a shortcut. It is almost as easy. So we'll go to edit and we're gonna scroll down to keyboard shortcuts. Over here where it says tools, you click that, go to menu commands, and in the search bar, we're gonna type in trim. We'll select trim view right there, and we're gonna add our own custom shortcut. It can be whatever you want, but Illustrator does have a lot of pre-programmed shortcuts, so you wanna try and avoid using ones that are gonna cause conflicts. So what I'm gonna be using is command and then period, which could be a control period if you're using a PC. So we'll go ahead and we'll click OK, and it's gonna ask you to save this key set file. It's just like a custom name for your keyboard shortcuts. You can just call it whatever you want. I'm gonna type in custom and click OK. And now if we go to view, you will see your shortcut is set up right there. So from now on, when I hit command period, I will be toggling trim view on and off. The reason why I chose that as my quick key is because command semicolon will hide guides and artboard. So this is kind of a natural progression and it's really close to that. So just like that, it is super easy to focus on what you are seeing. For the sake of comparing it, in the same update, they also added something called presentation mode. So view presentation mode. And this is good maybe if you have a client standing nearby and you don't want them to see all the extra stuff or you don't need them to see your program. This gets you nice and close and you can really see what's going on. Truthfully, probably not something I'd be using very much. I'd rather just go command zero and have my artboard centered like this. That is command zero, just like that. But nevertheless, it's also another little update. But the good thing is trim view. Man, that's gonna save me a lot of time. All right, hopefully you found that interesting. Again, I do teach full classes on skillshare.com slash Crusoe Design Co. Or you can just hit the link in my profile and all that good stuff. And make sure you hit subscribe, like, comment, as I said before, because that will keep me motivated to keep making free stuff for you. You can find me, of course, on Instagram, TikTok, you know, all the different things at Crusoe Design Co. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.